you know, events such as this are really good for uh, getting back to things that we all know, but we all forget. I mean, we all have that fire, that passion, that level of understanding, that way of communicating with one another. It's just that in the day-to-day -day world that we, we live in, we don't use that. All energy is just energy and we're all full of energy. And so we are all connected on some level. And the more of us that are connected, the more positive energy that exists. And everything we're doing right now, it feels so right. It's a, it's a calling, it's a destiny, it's a mission, and we all feel it. We're all a part of that movement. Everyone's playing a unique part of it. But it's really about bringing the, the, the indigenous, the ancestors' wisdom that we've forgotten back to the forefront of our cultures and societies. An elder who has never gone to school and who can see the universe like this is, is far more valuable than a doctor who can fix your broken arm or mend your broken heart inside with tools. Just because the world is at a, at a tipping point. The world is at a place where it needs visionaries, where it needs people who understand the way to connect us all. I mean, yes, doctors have their place. They, everything has a place in the system. But right now, we need the elders and people who understand energy and the artists and everybody who connect us to make them understand their relation and connectivity to the world around them because they have far more resources than we do. They can do things with the knowledge that we have that we can't do. And for a long time, the system that's been dominated has not focused on the indigenous people. I mean, the dominant system has always been the non-native. And the First Nations systems are starting to be recognized as a means to save themselves. So when that becomes dominant, then we have a chance at fixing the planet. Original and the real belief is all about balance. So and honoring the feminine and the masculine. All, you know, all creation is a representative of all of that. And so the ceremonies are all about getting people in balance, and then they'll take care of things. If people are in balance, things go smoothly. Everybody's connected to the environment as a whole, but the people who are closest connected are First Nations and Indigenous people. It's been a massive change in the environment, just like that, if you look at the scheme of things. And so why wouldn't you be affected? You're that close to the land. The energy you have with the land is being affected so badly. And so the massive change in the environment makes a change in the First Nations spiritual connection. So it makes a change in them. I, I truly believe at some point in time, it'll be the artists that save us all. Well, I'm honored to represent you. And I just say, hey, these are great guys. They're great people. And, um, and I support them a thousand percent. We are the keepers of this land. She shelters and sustains us. Long after the flesh fails the spirit, we will care for this land. Our drums will be heard upon the winds, our voices in the rustle of the leaves. My people have a sacred trust for the land, a trust no man may break, a trust that death cannot sever. We were here when you first stepped foot upon this land, and here we will remain long after the last step has disturbed her soil. It's not our job to save the world, but it is our job to teach others so that we can all save the world together.